Hi, this is Dr. Mario Harrow at Stephen F. Austin State University, and in this video I want to show you how to play Dance by Christian Gottlob Neef, also found on page 238 from Alfred's Group Piano for Adults, Book 1. So the first thing that I hope you'll notice is that we are in the key of E flat major, hence the three flats, B flat, E flat, and A flat. Don't forget that uh, to review over the E flat major scale so that it, uh, you'll have those three flats on your radar when you're playing through it. If we take a look at the right hand, if you didn't notice that the melody notes happen to feature notes of the chord here. In the very first measure, the three notes are B flat, G, and E flat. So if you play the one chord E flat major in root position like so, and then the same thing goes in the second measure in the right hand. You actually have a four, six, four chord or an A flat major in second inversion. And then in the third measure, you actually have a seven chord if you want to analyze it that way, D, F, A flat. Although when I add my B flat in the left hand, notice that it changes into a five, seven chord. So it's just a simple one, four, five, seven, and then where do we expect the five, seven chord to resolve to? Back to the one chord, which is the three notes that are featured in measure four. Same thing goes in the left hand. It's not really a one, six chord. It's in that inversion in the right hand, but then the left hand has the E flat underneath it here. So if I put that together here, and I try to follow the fingering that is suggested here, I know normally, we try to use the 5-3-1 fingering, and I don't mind if you do that in the very first measure there, but putting your right hand so it has the 4-2-1 fingering on the E-flat major chord in the right hand puts you in a better position to change to the 4-6-4 chord like this. You might want to practice just those first four measures just to choreograph your hand movement so that you're going from this chord to this chord this chord to this chord. And once you feel comfortable with that, then it's actually pretty easy to break it up. Pretty much the same stuff here. And the only difference is in measure eight, you have a root position one chord E flat major instead of the um, first inversion like we did in measure four as we go through it. The other thing that I wanted to stress in order to make it sound very dance-like, of course, try to have the left hand staccato notes be bouncy. Except for that last quarter note there, that has a nice little landing spot there so you can hold that slightly longer there. That will add to the dance character that we want for this dance. And also to make it sound more dance-like and also put an emphasis on the first beat of each measure to make it feel like one, two, three, one, two, three. You notice the slur markings that are going on in the first two sixteenth notes over into the first eighth note. So make sure that you're really diligent in making sure that you follow that articulation so it's connected like this. And then beats two and three are short and light like that. I don't really make the accent, uh, excuse me, the staccatos accented or pop like that. What I do is I just make it a nice graceful shortening of the notes. If you can do it with more with your arm, that will be a much easier way of achieving a more authentic sound to those first eight measures of the piece so that when you put it together it should sound like I did at the demonstration at the opening. And 
And since the measures five, six, seven, and eight are pretty much the same thing as measures one through four, if you can add some variety by maybe following the dynamic suggestion of playing measures five through eight softer, that adds a lot more melodic interest to it here, okay? Now just watch out after the repeat sign here um, that you should um, change the left hand over into the treble clef. So sometimes students forget that there. So that should be the E flat, not just any E flat, but it specifically has to be the E flat right above middle C. So make sure you're playing up in this range here so that you have this 10th um, relationship between both the left hand and right hand. So it goes like this. Okay, do you see how I handled that crossover from measures nine through 10? Essentially, you have a sequence of doing the same melodic pattern in measures 11 and 12. Okay. Measure 12 is a, probably the trickiest um, uh, measure of the whole piece just because of the fingering here. You play D with your thumb, but then in order for it to be a little less awkward, I would follow their fingering suggestions of playing the E flat with your third finger. And then they don't say to do it with your fourth finger, but play the F with your fourth finger because that makes the most logical sense. But don't play the D again with your thumb. Save that for the C and play the D with your second finger. So then you can play the thumb on the C and then cross over to the four. And then you're back to where you want to be for the main theme when you play through that section here, okay? So practice measures 11 and 12 a little bit extra. You might want to do the right hand first. Once you feel pretty comfortable with that, then add the uh, left hand to it so it goes. All right. So um, those are the main things. Uh, of, of course, if you can achieve the, um, the, the the little diminuendo there, that would really help to enhance the performance. Also, work on the transition of going from here and making sure that your thumb comes back to the E flat here. Right. One particular technique that might be particularly useful if you find yourself hesitating like this, then maybe add some beats intentionally in between it, what I call the countdown, and go three, two, one. And then once you're able to do that successfully, shave off a beat here so it goes two, one, then go down to one beat, one, until you can do it with no beats in between like so. expect for be able to play for this dance piece here. If you have any questions along the way, don't uh, hesitate to email me at aherommp at sfasu.edu or send some messages to let me know what uh, we could do to help you out with your uh, progress on this dance. Good luck with it.